We've said from the start, we want Xbox One to be a great place for games and also a great place for developers of all sizes so you can create new games and application experiences. Today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox Dev Mode, giving developers the ability to convert the retail Xbox One into a development kit. Please, please welcome Ashley Spiker from our Xbox platform team to show us how. Thanks, Phil. Hi, Ashley. We are building a truly universal platform where your apps run everywhere, including the Xbox One, which provides a huge opportunity for app developers to bring their experiences to life in the living room. So now I'm going to show you how anyone can take a retail Xbox One and turn it into a dev kit. Okay, so I was playing Forza over here. What I really want to do is work on my app, Ash Photo, which I'll show you in a minute. But first, I need to put my console into dev mode. So I'll go over here and I'll run the dev mode activation app, which I've already downloaded from the store. This app allows you to register your console as a dev console, which I've already done using my same account in Dev Center where I submit all my other UWP applications. This means that I can switch to dev mode with a single button press. Once the Xbox is finished rebooting, it will be in dev mode, which means I can deploy and debug my app. Now while it's rebooting, let's go over here to the PC and look at Ash Photo running on the PC where I'm actually writing it. So you can see how the UI elements move and adjust as I change the size of the window. And now let's see how we can deploy the same app to the Xbox One. So I'll stop debugging over here on the PC, and I'll switch local machine to remote machine. Um, this is the IP address of my Xbox. And then I'll just hit go. And since I've already paired Visual Studio with my Xbox, I can do a remote deploy just like to any other universal Windows device. Yeah, right? OK. Right, so that's my console. And here's my app you know, running on my Xbox One. Um, so this is the exact same code that we were just debugging over here. But now that it's on the console, you can tell that it's been optimized for the living room. The good news is that the universal Windows platform did a lot of the heavy lifting. For example, the controller just works. All the XAML controls have already been optimized to work with a gamepad, just like you would expect, including focus navigation. And not just on Xbox. It works the same way on the desktop when you have a controller plugged in. In fact, all XAML controls are designed to work great with touch, mouse, and controller. Yeah, that helps a lot. It also means that you can continue to test when you even don't have your Xbox, like in your flight back home. Now, since this is a universal Windows application, it also has access to the same universal APIs, including APIs for speech recognition and synthesis. So I've added a fun feature which allows me to add speech bubbles to my photos. I can simply use the speech recognizer to fill them in, which on Xbox is way easier than typing. So let me show you how this works. We'll caption this photo right now. Lions bark, right? Boom, there we go. So much easier than typing. Okay, I wanna show you guys one more thing. So in addition to the dev mode activation app I showed earlier, there's another app called Dev Home, which will automatically get loaded onto your console once you've put it in dev mode. And when you run it, it has everything that you need as a developer, from anything from account management to developer settings. Most importantly, once I'm done working on my app for the night and I want to go back to playing Forza, I can just go ahead and press leave developer mode and I'm back to retail mode. I should mention that a preview of dev mode will be available starting today. 